Welcome to the podium. This is a weekly sports show. Drops every Thursday on Channel 310 where we discuss the best and the worst sports stories of the week. And we will decide which are the best and the worst stories and we'll put them on the winner's circle on the podium of shame at the end. Uh, we all go through our bronze, silver, and gold medal stories of the week. So uh, here are our co-hosts. We got Russell Dorsey straight out of Chicago, uh, an actual sports journalist. And then, you know, I'm an L.A. comedian, and so is my homie Niles Abstin. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Welcome to the podium. Yeah, yeah. These two are actually former roommates yep. at Oral Roberts. Yep, that was where I slaved for two years for free. <laughs> and now I'm here. And you, and you finished that degree, right? No, Eric, I did not. Oh. I did not. Sorry, I disappointed you and my mother. Oh, uh, well, on that note, let's I'm, let's oh, go. I remember the... Uh, when Niles called me and told me he wasn't coming back. It was in January of 20, I think 2015. 16. And he called me and I was like, hey, bro, when are you coming back? And he was like, 16. Ah, it was 16. I, I don't think I'm coming back. Like, bro, what? Like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to see what's going on out here. And then I was like, damn, this man just dropped out of, uh, out of college. Dude. But he's doing his thing. Consider the fool because I dropped out of college school. Oh, yeah. man. That was a great Niles impression. You didn't even do the... Ah. I knew we doing that. And, and, like, the vague what? the vague statements of, like, big things you don't even know. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to do my thing. I'm just, hey, just, like, just going to see what's going on out here and then, uh, like, trying to make this movement in Hollywood, bro. And I, I was just, like, I I support you. I support you. <laughs> I was that was back when I actually like gave a damn. Like I used to like hate disappointing people. Now, <laughs> now like disappointing people is like a sport to me. Like I'm just like, how can I piss you off today? It's just one of my things. I don't know. You know, after being a comedian, you're like you get yeah. used to it. Yeah, you've been just, doing it for so the long. Self deprecation is there, man. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. But uh, speaking of comedians, it's Bernie Mac's birthday, bro. Really? He would have been sixty years old. Rest in peace, Bernie. Like that Love show. Bernie, man. Uncle Bernie, Uncle Bernie. Like that was the show. America. Man. Right? <laughs> Me and my family still do that. I'm the fuck! <laughs> Dude, like, the show was created by Larry Wilmore. I mean, it was just, it was a great show. Who you with? <laughs> that was, I, I just, man, like, I, every now and then I go back and watch that Def Jam set, and he's like, I ain't scared of y'all like that. That dude, man, Bernie's just something else, though. The whole point of that show was, um, Children are terrorists. Yep. We do not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Those kids were terrible on that show. <laughs> yeah. So like, the oldest daughter on the show, one of my friends, like, matched with her on Tinder or something like that. Like, she was on... I probably shouldn't be saying this, but yeah. She, like, <laughs> she swiped right on the girl who played the oldest daughter. And she's... But she's, like, really smart. Like, she has, like, three degrees or something. Like, it, she listed, like, all her colleges. I guess she was trying to brag. Like, okay, like... You're on TV and you went to school. Like I haven't done either one. And chill. Like I don't know. But yeah, he like matched with her, so that was dope. Yeah. Russell, how about you? You've been, uh, have you uh, covered any games recently or? Done? Uh, been doing some high school football. Uh, last week, Yom Kippur. Yeah, uh, all yeah. The schools, all the schools in the area. That's why we had to shoot the show quick so <laughs> I could grow out to that game because they had Yom Kippur on Friday, so a lot of the schools pushed the games to Thursday night. So. Been doing a lot of that and uh, writing about, you know, the playoffs for baseball perspectives. Check me out uh, at Afro, I mean, at Russ underscore Dorsey one on Twitter. Check out my latest story. But uh, yeah, man, writing about baseball, a little football, a bit of everything. Okay, that's cool. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Yom Kippur is like our Day of Atonement. And uh, Jewish holidays are weird because we literally start at sundown. You know, we start at sundown. Our holidays are on a lunar calendar. Uh, we're kind of like trolls. I don't know. We're like, we're weird people. We start shit, you know, we make no sense. But black, black people need a day of atonement. That's not fun. <laughs> like, well, we put it all in one day. Like, Catholics, like, they have, like, you know, the confessional box where they, like, do it all the time. We're just like, no, no, no. We're just going to do it all in one day. It's efficient. All of, our sin all of your sins are done. You just complain until you fall asleep. Yom Kippur is over, and bam, no more sins. No more sins. <laughs> no more sins. Out of thin air. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're great. We're great people. 
Um, but should we get should we get started with our Let's bronze uh, our bronze it, metal it, stories? All right, Russell, what's your uh, what's your bronze metal story today for the podium? All right. For